Okay, mothbird time once again, chipping away at our insect mothbird. And we've got, let's see what else we got in here. Sorry, doing this one-handed. Oh, these are the, uh, these green geometrids. That's the first time in 20 years of collecting in the keys. I've never seen these green geometrids before. And I took five or six of them. There's probably 40 or 50 of them that came to the sheet. But I took five or six of them and we're gonna mount them together. So we're gonna do those. Now here, this is the epitome of delicacy or deli delicacy delicate insects. These are these little green geometrids. They're less than an inch wingspan, maybe an inch if they're mounted out. But these ones, are, it's the first time I've ever seen them in 20 years down the Florida Keys. So we're going to put a few of these guys in the rehydration chamber. And there's a little pyralid moth mixed in there. But we're going to put these in the rehydrating chamber be ready to go tomorrow that's a big female this is a uh, can't wait to mount these and show you guys what the insides look like all right it's been 24 hours and what we want to do now is we want to mount some of these little green geometrics that we found in Key Largo for the first time in 22 years of surveying so I'm super excited about this uh, because I've never seen this species before. And here we go, guys. We're going to bring out, we're going to get three of them. We'll do three at a time. I'm a, we're always handling specimens with our forceps. We don't want to get more than that out at a time because they will dry out before I get to them. Uh, so, guys, we are going to mount these. Uh, I believe I've got a species name on them already. And... Let's see how they turn out. Guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as we go through categorizing and the taxonomy of all 600 plus species of moths from the Florida Keys. Uh, if you're into this kind of thing, shoot me a comment. Yeah, these are smaller moths, guys. So it's going to be a little bit challenging to get you the high quality video that I would like to. Okay, but we're going to do our best. Now, these... These little guys in this family, this these are geometrids, and we've got about seven species of geometrid that are in these little green, uh, these little green geometrid. This little family, the the green gemmed geometers. I think we've got seven of them in the Florida Keys. This would be species number eight, and we are going to mount some of them they've got some different markings which we'll show you once we mount get them mounted but we're going to put this is looks like a female get her in the protom block i've got my little paper strips out here to put a, cover the wings with I'm done with that one. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll mount three at a time. We'll cover the wings with paper. See it. The wings are already starting to curl on this top one. And that's what happens when the, spe the specimen uh, is under the air condition for too long. The, the, the wings start to curl. And that's why we got to cover those wings with um, the cardstock paper so that they don't stay like that indefinitely. And there we go. That's that one looks really good. Excellent. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you this up close real quick. Show you sideways. All right, this green 
geometric moth is different from the other ones we have in the Florida Keys that we found so far because it's got this border of like this rust colored like metallic flecked border. And in 22 years, we've seen members of this family over and over and over again, but I've never, I've never seen this one. And on this one particular night, we found a bunch of them and I, I think I took home six of them. So yeah, we're going to, we're going to try and figure out what they are. We might need to do some DNA on them and get you a better perspective of what this species is. All right, well, it's time to put, so actually, you know what? I'm gonna get a couple more out. Might as well finish that group. One, two, three. Let's finish the group here. Now that these are pinned and covered, I'm just gonna give the date. We have uh, 1115. We'll give those at least one week. The insects with a larger body and more fluids to dry out, we'd give two weeks at least, but uh, these little guys, one week is more than enough. So uh, we'll come back later with more on these little green geometrids. All right, folks, so we have our little green emerald moths from the Florida Keys. These are Iwana neviosolaria, and boy, oh boy, are they tough, number one, to mount, number two, to identify. Uh, so we went through a whole big video on how to identify this thing, and... Um, not easy, guys. You know, thank God for Moth Photographers Group website that helps you identify the moths of North America. So I've got six of these guys here. And I'm going to try and get you a good image of the best one that's there. So uh, here we are. And I, I made only made three labels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get label on a few of these guys here and we're going to get them right over into our pinning box okay put them right on over there we go then I'm gonna get a photograph of one or two of these guys for you for a thumbnail. There's our beauty. And what we'll do is we're gonna get the rest of these guys over here in this box next to their friends. Let me closer. I'm gonna get them over here next to their friends. And we will be done with this video guys all right um there they are new species to the florida keys uh they are ready i'm gonna make a few more labels for these three but ready to go guys make sure you always label your specimens guys always 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 because if you don't scientifically they're just not worth what they would be had they had the scientific data on them uh, for where you collected them and when and then what you think their identification label is. So guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. As you can tell, we're, bit, we're pretty busy here, Keys Moths, and we're doing a lot, and we are identifying tons of butterflies and moths from the Florida Keys and beyond. Madagascar moth, pretty cool. All right, guys, talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Bye now.